In this video, you'll be shown how to download a storybook and read it without having to use the internet. So you'll be able to read it offline. In your browser, type the African Storybook website, www.africanstorybook.org. Press enter. This will take you to the African Storybook homepage. Click the Read tab. You will see the screen change to a list of different storybooks. To choose the language in which you want to read the storybooks, click the yellow arrow on the side of the All Languages tab. Scroll down to the language of your choice. Click it. You will see a list of available stories in that language. To make sure that only the books that have been quality checked are displayed, click the yellow circle next to Approved. You will notice a tick appears. Now to select the book that you would like to read, Click anywhere in the box that shows the name and author of the story. The book that you have chosen will open. You will notice that when you click in the middle of this book, the grey bars will either appear or disappear. To make them appear, click the middle of the story book. To download the storybook so that you can read it offline without having to use the internet, go to Menu, then click Download to Read, Landscape Version. The download will start, so here you can see it's already downloaded. Depending on how your computer is set up, it will automatically download to your downloads folder or you can choose where you want to download it to. Once it's downloaded, you will see at the bottom of the browser the name of the book. Click the arrow beside this name. Then click show in folder. This will take you to the folder where the storybook has downloaded. In this case, it's been downloaded in the Downloads folder. To rename the storybook, right-click Rename. So right-click and then go to Rename. Type in the name of the storybook. So, for example, Manios pumpkin and then we are labeling it to read. Press enter. To move this storybook onto your desktop, click onto the file, drag and drop it onto the desktop. You will notice that it now has disappeared. Click the minimize button up here Minimize. Now you are on your desktop. You can see the file Manio's Pumpkin. Double click it to open. The book that you would like to read opens and you can scroll through the book looking at the different pages. This allows you to read the book without having to use the internet. So it is stored on your desktop. 